Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. We're back here at the bench. We're going to start the assembly of the Zone Star. And uh, I've got the parts laid out here. Now, I'm going to start the assembly of the frame first, just to kind of make this go a little bit quicker. I have the instructions, which were on the SD card, loaded onto the iPad, which is really great, because this is one of the big tips I'll share with you, because you can pinch and zoom the PDFs. So especially if you have older eyes, like I do, it makes it a lot easier to see. So um, again, they kind of start you off building the brackets and connecting the motors there first, but I'm going to jump ahead and I'm going to start with the frame so it makes a little bit more sense and then once we get the frames done then we'll start assembling the uh, go back and assemble the rest of the body so one of the first pieces that uh, it has us do is uh, after that is assemble the base so you'll need this piece and we will need the bearings over here and we're going to need some um, M4 by 6 screws to mount this. Now it's not clear that there's a top or bottom to this so uh, I think it appears to be a bit ambidextrous. so we're gonna go ahead we got a little bit of plastic still on here we're gonna clean that off and we're gonna go ahead and uh, assemble this piece so I'm gonna do a little bit of a time lapse as we go through here Okay, so we've assembled this unit. One thing to note that there are only three, even though there's four holes, for some reason they decided to only use three, and so uh, went in here. One of the things to note about this kit is this is predominantly Phillips head, not hex head. So again, um, I spun them in with the smaller screwdriver and I went through and tightened them with a larger screwdriver. Uh, you could probably use some blue Loctite on here if you wanted to. I didn't. Uh, I just made sure that they were tight. So I'm going to set this aside. The next piece I'm going to build is I'm going to take the front roller and then it attaches to this front plate and this lip goes away from you and then this piece appears to go up and mounts on here using some um, number six screws, the same ones we used for the last. And this appears to be self-tapping into the uh, the actual bracket for the uh, pulley. So we're just going to go through and turn these in here and just tighten the, this in. And so this is a pretty quick procedure. And we'll do one more like this. And again, if you want to, you can use a little bit of Loctite. I, I'm not. Um, uh, but I am going to make sure that these are these are snugged down pretty tight. And so, boom, we've now got this piece completed. So we've got the bed completed. We've got this piece completed. Now what we have to do is take this other piece and assemble the back motor to this piece. So what we'll have to do is we will take one of these motors and... We will mount this. Now it really doesn't show how the um, plug configuration can go, but this does go to the outside per the instructions. So something along this line and it mounts to the back bracket. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to do a time lapse of this assembly and then we'll come back and take a look at it all together because we will also put the Y limit switch on during this phase. Okay, so we've done the mid motor or the back motor assembly for the Y. A uh, couple things. So I went through and I missed initially the fact that it requires 
some lock washers to go underneath the three screws that mount this. Also, if you look at the instructions, it, uh, it indicates mounting the bracket going outward and in this position, and it also says as low as possible, so that's what I've done. However, in the drawing, it doesn't show it, the motor so proud here, so I'm assuming that this is uh, okay assembly. And if it's not, I'll correct it later in the video. Also, I've uh, installed the gear as is indicated in the drawing with the, uh, uh, you know, uh, I don't know what you call this piece out here past the gear to the outside. And then I've also placed the Y switch uh, here. So now it calls for 20 millimeter, and these are 20 millimeters. I measured them. And it looks a little bit long. There are some shorter ones that would work better, but I'm assuming from what it says, this is the correct configuration for the build. Um, but I'm also wondering now, looking at it, because it indicates, and I'll see if I can't do an overlay, that the, the motor wire mount should go in the same direction as this bracket. But if you notice, this now pushes <laughs> against here. So. I don't think this is correct, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn this motor so it's uh, uh, facing downward and I can run it underneath because that's clearly wrong because as you can hopefully see here, and if not, I'll do the overlay. So it's got motor wiring and it's got the bracket at the bottom, so that makes no sense. So it's obviously a design error. So I'm going to go ahead and flip that and then we'll come back and we'll uh, catch up on the next stage of the build. Okay, in this step, what we're going to do is we're going to assemble the Z-axis. And one of the things it indicates is not to tighten down the motors. And it says also connect backwards this motor. So I'm not sure exactly. I'm sure it must mean to flip the wires. We'll have to get into it a little bit more. But uh, it also doesn't show the wire direction of this. So... I'm going to turn these to the inside, and that'll just kind of make it the easiest, I think. Um, and it says also, it says don't tighten motor the motor in this step or the whatever screw. So I'm assuming these. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, kind of loosely tighten all this together and jump into a bit of a time lapse. Okay, welcome back. So I took the liberty of assembling the rest of the frame. It was pretty straightforward per the instructions, but a couple things I wanted to share with you guys. So these uh, connectors, uh, channels, I guess you'd call them. One of the things to note, they're not, they're actually asymmetrical. So they get these that pin back here. So one of the things you notice is I thought it was kind of equal. It's not. So there is a direction to it. It's not mentioned in the instructions. And so uh, be aware of that little gotcha here. So uh, I also went ahead and installed the rods. As you probably saw in the time lapse, I put one side in, moved it over, put the other side in under these lips because you can't go straight down. I will have to true these up a little bit more. I'm not going to worry about truing it up right now. Uh, one of the things on the front of this, you'll notice you can adjust uh, these pieces. Now I've adjusted all these to the lowest uh, portion of the oblong opening. Uh, just to kind of start with, but I, I, this is where I believe with these you can sort of adjust the torque. There's a, it's not bad. Um, I don't know if you can hear it here uh, because the rods, the linear rods, actually just connect straight through here. And then what happens is you can adjust the, the torque of these through these oblongs here on the front. Maybe you can see them there. Uh, you can see them in the instructions. So uh, I'll do some adjusts. Once I get this all built, then I'll take, you know, um, maybe an hour or two to kind of go through and then fine tune the adjustment. I'm also going to, when I get this all finished, use the uh, uh, Teflon lubricant on all the bearings and stuff like that uh, just to kind of set it up. But I'm going to do that at the end. I'm going to go through and, and finish the build. So at the this is going to end this um, episode where we finish the frame and everything. And then when we start back, what we'll do is we'll do the gantries here. 
and then put in the control module and then probably start the extruders and then in the final video we'll hook this all up and actually get it to print something so anyways hopefully you found this interesting i'll have links to this printer before below so far the quality and build i've been impressed with it I've, i i actually like the way it's going together very straightforward um relatively simple build so far uh, everything matches seem to have all the parts here one of the things kind of look for the washers because these also require washers and I thought I was short but they're way down in the bottom here um, actually if I had to do this over again I dump these into these little cups that I've covered in a prior episode as a little tip uh, but anyways everything seems to be going together fingers crossed and we'll see you guys in the next video and don't forget the swag shop in the corner and we'll come back and finish this build in the next episode or at least get the rest of the mechanics together cheers please click like below and subscribe to the channel